in all wings you know Bhishma Chari is the elder elderly one and he is the he is responsible for all Guru Kingdom and he is like Guru to Dronachari also leaving him he is consulting with Dronachari that is the policy of bad politics there are two kinds of politics one is pro development and another one is divide and rule you do not achieve more but if you divide caste and if you divide the people through religion and the other thing then easily you can win you need not achieve anything just when the quarrel starts both of them they seek supporters then we can say i mean to see the who is the biggest one we can say i am going to support you then without any achievement he is just a support that is the bad politics they are backing you and they are supporting you you fight together then i will be with you or i'll hate him that is why in india internally these politicians they are religious but outside they make fight with the all other, other religions because for the sake of benefit divide and rule that was introduced by the jews this policy was introduced by the jews and how to make how to control only by dividing and praising someone then you should say one someone is you are useless and you should make other person who is useless useful then they start to fall then you will get the information from both side and you can play that so the river there is playing like that that is why immediately he is consulting Dronacharya rather than Dhimacharya. That is why that is the Shapini Tantra. Duryodhana, special Guru is Shapini. All the time he was telling, divide and rule and create the quarrel and then he will make it like that. That is why we can notice that leaving Bhishmacharya alone, he is consulting with <coughs> Lord Acharya. Krishna used to do this in Gokula. Then to see <coughs> uh, this one Gopika, he was pretending I am close to the other Gopika. Then she was very much upset. Oh, Krishna is going with her, not supposed to see like that. He was playing like that. But really, he was not using that, only for the play. But Duryodhana, he actually used this bad trick. Always dividing, and who are not important, praising them as the most important person. Who is important, considering he is not important. That was the trick Duryodhana he was playing. That is where we can see, in these lists, He was considering small kids also Maharaja. Not only <coughs> Pandavas, children of Pandavas, Saubhadra, Abhimanyu, they are all small people, but he is listing out these are all the Maharajas. In his army, who are Maharaja, he is not considering them as Maharaja. That is why this is a trick. One can win in the election by playing divide and rule or by development, achievement also. Common people, they cannot realize the trick. That is why they support those people who play the <coughs> divide and rule. They create the terminal <coughs> clashes, then they will back one <coughs> section, then they say, you will be the problem. who create the problem 
they save you the death to protect you. That is the trick. You can see Duryodhana is playing that. That is why Duryodhana's education was like that. That is why he was using all these tricks in every word. Drupada Putra So we see how he was using the word Drupada Putra You could say Drishta Dhyumena. His name is Drishta Dhyumena. He didn't mention his name. Vyudam Drupada Putra Eva Sheshena Dhyumena. There is no name at all. You could say that it is organized by Drishta Dhyumena. He didn't say. Organized by Eva Sheshya and who is the son of Drupada. Who is very clever, like that. He didn't mention his name also. That was a shena. By that word, he was insulting. Shishya is <coughs> passing the exam, but Guru is fake. That was the opinion. He says, Your Shishya is doing well. You are not doing well. How can you consider as Guru? Guru should be superior than Shishya. But she, here, Shishya is superior than Guru. Dhimata. He is Dhima. He's clever. That means you are not clever. He is clever means you are not clever. Like that, every time he is provoking and he is, divide, he is dividing and he is making one person as big and another person as small. And <coughs> this is the trick. They, those people, they don't understand from where he is getting the reservation and benefits, not from his pocket. Just he is spoiling them. That is the trick introduced by Duryodhana. And the throat is like, he was playing like that. That is why there is a war between, not between Pandavas and Kaurava, the war between two kinds of policies. One is divide and rule and another one is achievement. <coughs> so this is the war between these two kinds of policies. And Krishna is supporting the achievement, not the divided. If you see in this way, then only you can understand the Mahabharata exam. Otherwise you will not find out the difference between World War and this one. The World War is only on the top because of the ego, ego clashes. No values. There's only selfishness, ego, superiority complex, all these things. But here, Ayutha is not for um, selfishness. It's a Yutta or Yutta was Dharma Yutta. So which policy is correct, which policy is free. To show that this uh, <coughs> Mahabharata Yutta was designed. That is why. During Mahabharata, during the period of Pandavas and Kaurava, they had many yuttas. Not only this Kurukshetra yutta. Many times they fought. But it is not famous. Even Kalayavana, more <coughs> soldiers were there. Very <coughs> big yutta. But no one remembers. Only Mahabharata yutta you are going to remember because this yutta is not between people. Is between policies. Which policy is correct? Which policy is not correct? That is why throughout the sloka we can see the reflection of policies. So that Krishna is showing that it is not the war between people, but it is a war between the policies. That is why he is showing his policy everywhere. Pashetam, Pandaputranam, Acharya, Mahatim, Chamam, Yudam, Dravadaputrena, Tavashishena, Timata, Atrashura, Maheshwasaha, Bhimajana Samayuti, Yudhanaha, Viratascha, Dravadascha, Maharaja. Actually, these are all old people. While you are fighting, young people should be there. Kunti Bhoja and Virata, Drupada, they are all senior citizens. There are uh, about 70, 80. 
he is mentioning they are the big people. Maybe for respect, not for fighting. For fighting, young people should be there, not the old people. We should protect them. But he is listing down all these people. Kashirajaha, Dashtaketuhu, Chekitanaha, Kashirajascha Virivan, Purujit, Kunti Bojascha, Shaibhascha, Rapunga. You see how old Kunti Boja is. He's a grandfather of Pandavas. So he is the Mahatma, he is the main warrior. It's like that, he is creating the fear inside Dronacharya and provoking him and making him activate it like that. In that policy, he is affecting everything. Dhamanyascha Vikrantaha, Uttar Pradashcha Venivan, Saubhadraha, Dhanopadeyascha, Sarvayeva Maharatha. Then he comes to his army. Asma Kanta Vinishtaye, Karni Bodak Jyotama, Nayakaha, Mavasinyasya, Sanyatam, Tantra Vidhiti. Ashti says, See in our army. Tell me who are the Maharatas. Then he himself started to list out. Ashti says, You list, list out who are the Maharatas. And after saying that, he himself started because he has the, he could recognize a real Maharata, but he didn't want that. He wanted to make him inferior. That is why he himself started to this town. And Bhavan Vishmascha, Karanascha, Krupascha, Damitinjayaha, Ashwatthama, Vikaranascha, Somadatihi, Jayadrataha, Anyeka Bhavashura. First, he counted Rodachar, you are the first one. Then comes Bhishmacharya. Here also he is playing. Actually, Bhishmacharya is good for everyone. He is the great warrior. He put Bhishmacharya as second. And Bhavan, you are the first one. Then Karanascha. Krapascha Sabitinjaya. Kripacharya is telling that you are all my main warrior for Brahmins. Baba, how Brahmins they can fight? They cannot fight more. Because they are only taking vegetarian food. Then how can they fight? That is why he says Kripacharya, Dronacharya, all these Brahmins, they, they are in my army. Can they fight? That's so interesting during the Yarupati Swayambara. That was the situation of fighting between Brahmins and Kshatriyas. Because in the dress of Brahmins, Pandavas were there and they put the uh, <coughs> Pandya and they could get the um, get to Drupadi. Then Kshatriya, they were so angry. How could these Brahmins can, can contest it, uh, uh, compete it here? It is only mentioned for the Kshatriyas. How these Brahmins, they could get Drupadi? They started to fight it. Then all Brahmins, what they did, they thrown Darbha. And they thrown their asanas. And they, some to the Brahmins, they were throwing Gopi Chandra, Mudra. Like that. These Kshatriyas, they are <coughs> using arrows and gada, but Brahmins were fighting with Darpa and Gopi Chandan and Mudra, and like that. It was so funny. Brahmins and Kshatriyas, they are fighting. It's not equal. Can you fight with small kids, big people, <coughs> elder people? How it is funny, the same thing. That is why the Yodhana was listening who you are. You are Dronacharya. After all, you are not taking food for Kriyas because he is not taking food. Aparigraha and Kripacharya who is doing Bodo Oh, these are all people with me. And Vishwacharya also. Doubt. All these people. And Karnascha. 
Karana is he is not here now in the army because he didn't come. For ten days he didn't come, but he is reaching out. Couldn't hear. Couldn't come. Like that, he was telling that in my army, no one is a big person. Everyone is small. Ashwatthama, he is also Brahmin. Prapacharya is also Brahmin. And Dronacharya is also Brahmin. Is it possible to fight with the Kshatriyas by this Brahmin? Sohmaratyo Jayatrataha. Anmeja Bahavasura is telling that other people. They are negligible. Bahavasura Madhathe Tekta Jivata. Because of so obligation they have come here. Not with the real intention. They don't want our victory. But we cannot avoid, that's why they are coming. Otherwise, we will fight with them. So, it's better to come, participate in the law. Let us say they have come. Madarte Tekta Jivita. Nana Shastra Prahana Hebre Yutta Yushara. Apariyaptam Tadasmakam Badam Bhishma Pirakshitam. Pariyaptam Fidame Tejam Badam Bhima Pirakshitam. No, he comes to be Bhishma Charya. He says, our Bhishma Charya is not capable. It's Apariyaptam. It's not equivalent to fight. But though the army is in number is less, the protector is built on. <coughs> that is why he was provoking him, Dronacharya. If he says like that, then Dronacharya should say, No, 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 I will take care of that and I will do like that. He will give the uh, <coughs> oath. Don't worry about it. If he will praise him, okay, okay. Like that, Dronacharya will not take any work. To make him to give the work, she was telling like that. That is why he says, Ayane Shita Saraveshu Yata Bhagam Vastita Bhishma Meva Pirakshantu Bhavanta Saravayevahi. My main concern is, Vishnachari. Because in heart he is not with us. He himself go, he himself expose himself and Pandavas may come and kill him. Because he is not willing our victory. That is why we will take care of Vishnachari. You should put one eye on him. Everyone should protect him. That is our situation. Who is the commander in chief? He should protect everyone, but now here we should protect him. That is a very ugly situation. Police should protect us, but if the situation is we should protect police, then what will be there? Army should protect us, but if the situation is we should protect the army, then what will be the situation? That is why I am very much worried to protect Bhishma Chari. Bhishma Meva Virakshantu Bhavantaha Sarvayevahi Tasya Sanjanayan Harsham Kurubrutta Pitamaha Simhanadam Tadapinatyo Che Shankam Tatno Pratapavan Then Bhishma Chari came to know As a commander, she should give the title to the king. That is why he started to do the Shankha. Simhanadam Vinatya. She made the Simha Kosha. Then he started to do Shankha. Shankam Dattno Pratapavan. The Shankha is the It will produce the courage and also will remove the bad influence. Why should we should use the 
Shankha. When we hear the Shankha Nada, all Asuras spread influence in the room. And good atmosphere will be created. And also, it's a sign of the courage. Who can do Shankha more than he is having inner strength more? That is why in older days, they are testing the inner power by Shankanada. Shankanada Vinatya Vachehi Sankam Tatma Pratapavan Tata Shanka Chabhiriyascha Pranavanata Gomukaha Sahasaiva Pihananta Sashapta Stumado Bhavati Then all kinds of drums are written. The atmosphere of war has been created. Actually, war should be influenced by the sounds. Sounds are creating the person, the mind. Which sound we hear, in that way our mind will work. That is why to create the courageful activities, one should hear the sounds of drums and special drums, then only they can <coughs> move forward. Otherwise, they start to think their family, children, and they will not ready to fight. So to forget that, when the sound is more, then we will forget everything. Many people they ask, why we make sound when puja is going on? So when puja goes, then everyone should be <coughs> silent. It's better. But why should we, we should use ganta, yaganta, drum, something? Because if you use that, then you get the concentration. Sounds are creating the concentration. If it is beaten in a proper way, then concentration will be there. Otherwise, concentration will go. That is why during the puja, we should get more concentration. That is why we use all kinds of drums in proper way. That is why during the youth of war also concentration should be more. That is why they use all kinds of drums. So mind will be concentrated, then we can <coughs> achieve and we can concentrate the goal. That is why sound is always affecting the mind. Through the sound we can <coughs> influence the mind and motivate the mind. The sounds are controlling the mind. That is why when we have the sound, then different motivation will be there. And also, to get the concentration, there are only two ways. Either we should have a big sound or no sound. If everything is calm and quiet, then also we will get the concentration. If everything Big sound with the proper way, then also we get the concentration. If it is a half way, then the step is frustration. That is why sages they used to go to forest. They used to stay in, inside the cave where no sound waves. So easily mind is going to have the concentration. So if less sound, then easily brain can get the concentration. If 100% sound, then also concentration will come. If it is in the middle, then you will you will not get the concentration. That is why for the concentration, sounds are main instruments. That is why including the power, they use the all kinds of sounds in proper way. So that mind should be prepared for the preparation. So should be very much needed. You can see the <coughs> um, drums and shankha 
పడవ ఆనక గోముఖ గోల్డెన్ డేస్ విచ్ ఆర్ క్రియేటింగ్ క్రియేటింగ్ ద డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ ఇమోషన్స్ దట్ సోన్ ది యూస్ టు సేవ్ యూస్ సహసైవ అభ్యహ అభ్యహన్యంత సశబ్ద సుమదోపమతి సహీవ దుర్యోధన విషాద how he was frightened and how Vishmacharya, he, he has taken the responsibility. You can see the quality of Vishmacharya here. Actually, Duryodhana was insulting Vishmacharya. He didn't consult with Vishmacharya. But somehow he came to know that this Duryodhana is very much frightened now. So he has taken the step and he started to encourage the Lord. That is the way of the commander who is subordinate. He should support the number one. Number two should support, though number one is doing the wrong thing, the duty of the number two should support the number one. He should not react. That is why, though Duryodhana was insulting Vishmacharya, he has taken his responsibility and he was encouraging the Yodhana by Shankanada, Simhanada, by all kinds of the steps. He was encouraging, you can see the difference between the Yodhana and Vishmacharya, the Tamasa step and the Pudh step, Satsura step. That is why if you <coughs> research, search the personalities of these people, then we can find out the policies behind them. That is the main purpose of the uh study so i'm very glad to uh be the inside of the these shlokas of bhagavad gita and explaining the mentality and uh, thinking behind all these things and today i'm very glad to conclude the gita prachan also for vasudeva and uh, uh, parimala vasudeva here I am very glad to do the puja of Lord Krishna and I offer my prayer to Krishna to bless the family and also the devotees here.